Hey, what's up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura Maurice and today I'm filming episode 12 of my Southern Friends Chronicles. I'm here with Papa in the car. We're Hello! <laughs> We're on our way to the supermarket in a village a little further away because the veggie stand at Conti's just closed down yesterday, I think. Closed for the season. Yeah, and the supermarket in the village and also at the campsite. Now, it can't even be heard. They both don't have like a very broad assortment. Yeah. So we're going to a bigger supermarket a little. She's gone. It will take us like maybe a little less than 10 minutes to get there and we'll do some groceries over there for the rest of the week and also the way back in mind unfortunately which is already Sunday but it's Tuesday so we have like a few days left so we need to enjoy it of course. Yeah we're on our way right now and here's <laughs> I always like to go to the chips aisle to watch their flavors in different countries. For example, mustard or here, goat cheese with pepper, real chicken. Let me see. Oh yeah, another goat cheese. So mozzarella. It's so funny. I always like to, to go and watch all the flavors. <laughs> when I used to be, I think like 15, 14, maybe even 13. And we were here in Conti's Plage. I always went to the beach with Rowan and Nikki, which were the two girls I always used to hang out with. And almost every day when we went to the beach, we walked to the supermarket and we bought this. It's a sort of Sprite or 7-Up, something like that. But the, the bottle is just very cool. So I don't know, we thought it was so fun to buy that bottle. And now I see it for the first time in a very long time. So I don't know, very nostalgic. <laughs> We were only in for maybe 20 minutes, so that was very, very quick. Now we're on our way home again. Okay, back home again, little grocery haul. We have 20 liters of water, two of these six packs. <laughs> it's like I'm working out a 12 pack of beers. Not for me, for Baba. <laughs> then let's start with the produce. Red bell pepper, little zucchinis, carrots, piece of ginger, figs, five of them. A whole bag of lemons because if you know me, you know that I drink lemon water every morning, every evening. So we needed a lot of them. We have six of them. Eggs for snacks, palmiers, fromage, oh, met kaase. It's even in Dutch, just like a cheese snack. Two bags of chips, Lay's fromage, cheese. I don't know, this brand, it's a French brand, Bretz. Salt and vinegar chips with like these ridges, which I really like. And then already for our way back home for Sunday, we have these little bottles of water to have by hand. So that's everything we bought. Not a lot, we were very fast. So I'm gonna make myself ready for the beach. Today's gonna be a lovely day again. Less hot than yesterday, because yesterday I was only on uh, underneath the umbrella because the sun was like very, very strong yesterday. Even though it was like the same temperature and everything as the day before, but yesterday was like crazy hot and the sun was like, you know, like that's it. Stinginess the sun can give you when it's like super harsh. Long explanation, great explanation. But yeah, I'm gonna make myself ready for the beach right now. Another day, another sunscreen. <laughs> the waves are crazy high. They're like walls. You see like the, the brown, dark brown sand? That's how far the water has come. Maybe last night, I'm not sure, but usually we literally lay there, over there where the people are standing. But now it's impossible. It's low tide, but it will be high tide later this afternoon. So Papa is installing our stuff over there. You can see Mama walking towards it. Okay, I was wrong. It's not low tide. The highest point of high tide is around 2.04. It's currently 1.01. This is the max. And the waves are between 1.6 and 2.6 meters today, which is crazy. So 
me something new We are the first over here We were walking back home And just when we were walking here They opened their doors So we were the first ones to sit at the terrace And now we have our cafe Usually we both order a cafe noir So a black coffee One with Chantilly whipped cream and then they put the whipped cream in a coffee cup like in a big coffee cup like a cappuccino cup So Papa ordered it and we received this one So both a cafe noir and just one with whipped cream on top So it's not as much as, as usual, but it's okay. It's okay. C'est la vie And Papa has a pression Stella Stella as always <laughs> We're home again So I was telling you guys in an earlier shot another day another sunscreen Well, I need to explain explain that because as you may have seen in a previous video can't remember which one a few days ago I bought this one because we were out of our own sunscreen this is like a French brand I said okay yeah nice and I put the sunscreen on my face and my face was like full on white Papa has a picture of it I'll insert it and then I was putting it on my body this morning before we went to the beach I don't know if you can see it on camera but wait my leg has a sort of white yeah, you can definitely see. <laughs> it's a sort of white hue over it. Oh yeah, over here you can see it even better. But we thought like, oh my gosh, no, terrible. And you need to really rub it in your skin for it to be not as white anymore. And I didn't know this when I bought it, but it's for the face. So that's also why I think it's a little harder to like rub in. No, it doesn't make any sense, but yeah. We thought let's buy a new one. So we bought a new sunscreen, an oil-based one. So that's the whole story about sunscreen. The good thing about it is that it's airtight. How do you say that? A specific pump, yeah. That's the word that I was looking for. So it's like air sealed or something and no light can come in, so that's good. So maybe I can save it for next year so I can put this on my face and finish it because otherwise it would be such a waste if we would throw it away right away. That's the whole story about the sunscreen. <laughs> Where are we going? Right now. Oh, going to the beach. Watch the stars. But first we go to La Royale for crepes and churros. <laughs> I have a crepe avec with lemon and sugar. Oh, very fluttering, fluttering these pimples. Wow. I don't know if it's like the atmosphere here in Compis or it really is, but crepes over here are like chef's kiss. So nice. And also the churros. Amazing. Amazing. Mm. It was so delicious. Now we're on our second point of our itinerary of tonight. <laughs> we're gonna watch the stars at the beach. Because it's a very nice temperature and it's a clear sky tonight. And we're walking towards a black hole right now. Yeah. You can't see me anymore, but it's okay. I really hope that we're gonna see some falling stars. Okay, lol. I was thinking about what I was saying in the previous shot. <laughs> about seeing falling stars but that's literally translated from Dutch to English of course it's shooting stars sometimes I think about my words a little later on and I don't know how to explain but like that is maybe five minutes later and then I think like hmm what was I saying a little evaluation shooting star not falling star okay you still can't see anything but we're walking back from the beach to the village we haven't seen any shooting stars but i think yeah i'm 100 sure the moon is way too bright you can see it on camera but you can see your shadow like it's the sun like sun shining on you and then the shadow on the ground but yeah it was fun that we were lying on the beach watching the stars <laughs> it's already 1 a.m gonna go to bed we we're already home for like i don't know two hours and right after we got home i started reading again in reminder of him i only have like 60 pages left or something i was like sucked in the story so it's a little late unfortunately because we have a long day tomorrow we'll be fine i'm gonna close with today's video over here i want to thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed watching today's video then please don't forget to give this one a big thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't yet and you'll see me tomorrow on episode 13 this time i counted before i started filming <laughs> on episode 13 of my Southern Friends Chronicles. Bye guys! Oh,